The assignment was Valentine's Day, right about the first time you were in love. My first crush was a boy named Adam who played the clarinet, and that's why I joined the band. And I was a marching band kid. And, and I wrote that version of the song, which was like, that's why I joined the marching band. And I thought, this isn't going to relate to the people who are going to sing it. Your story is, how did I become a singer? And so the writer in me had to shift my story into something a bit more universal. And that's where it's like, how did I find my way to music, which is the thing that makes me feel whole. Mm -hmm. But the boy maybe is the thing okay. that led me there. He wasn't much to look at. I wouldn't call him fun. He was 12 years old and I was just 11. Friends thought I was crazy, but my innocence was won by the boy who introduced my heart to heaven. He was the smartest boy in the whole sixth grade, and I couldn't believe I'd found him. Though his teeth were in braces and his dockers were frayed, I just wanted to be around him. There are men who make you lose yourself or fill you with regret. But Adam won my lifelong love because he played the clarinet. Do -do -do, do -do -do. was the dumbest girl in the whole fifth grade and now everyone else had seen it. I announced I quit the band, my decision had been made, but I wish that I didn't mean it. For the music had a hold on me much more than any playing. I knew I'd found my lifelong and Adam didn't mean a thing. The marching band was not for me, but in the choir I could sing. Do -do -do, do -do -do. the smartest boy in the whole sixth grade I had a farmhouse with a grandfather clock I have died every day waiting for you Darling, don't be afraid I loved you for a thousand 